How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be chatting about solar power. Now it's pretty common for us to you know want to park in the shade. You want your tent to be in the shade, you want your kitchen to be in the shade and our solar panels are on our tent. So for a big chunk of traveling around Australia we kind of always had to either park in the sun or move our car at some point during the day, get solar, move back into the shade and it was just it became quite annoying and therefore we had to come up with a solution uh, and and something we avoided for a while was getting a solar blanket. Now we avoided it only because I guess we thought they weren't worth it. We've had one for about two months now and it is so worth it having it additionally to those panels. Those panels are exceptional when you're have to be in the sun when you're in places where it's sun is no choice and you know you're parked up for a while or you're not camping uh, it keeps your batteries topped up blah 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 but when you're in a spot for ages let's say a week or two and you've got this awesome sight grass shade you want to be in in the shade especially when it's summer so we got one of these now that is the projector solar blanket it folds up really nice it was essential for us to get something that was packed up nice wasn't too heavy had a long cord on it so we could run it out into the sun and keep our camp set up where we are so today we're gonna have a quick look at that uh, see what that's all about yeah why you should definitely get one they're really really handy uh, if you're thinking about it get one if you only rely on that solar they're, they're well worth it they make the best sites even better So I'm going to do doing this one-handed because I've got the GoPro, but it comes in a beautiful, very nicely packed thing. We've used it a few times, so it's probably a little bit marked up, but it comes with a good pocket at the front here. So if you just rip that open, these are, I guess, your pegs or like your like a bit of structure to the to the panel. What else we got in here? We've got our a lead. So it comes with a really long length lead and I actually made an additional one to go even further just because where were we? We were at a site and it was just, I needed that extra length. And it also, if you've got more room, go further away, keeping in mind the longer the cord is, the more voltage drop you'll get. So just remember that. Now within this little pouch, it's actually the inlet for the power. So it's good, it keeps it all in there, out of the rain, whatever. I guess you can put your whatever you want in that little pocket with the little window. What else we got in here? This is the pole. So the pole is pretty much what you, when you've set it up, if you want to have it on an angle, leaning towards the sun, uh, you run it through. I'll show you that, um, but that kind of keeps it all, the structure of it really nice and, and taut, as well as those, those legs. So what it comes with that I don't have here is it comes with an MPPT, MPPT controller. So if you don't have a DC-DC charger or you're not plugging into the canopy, if you're plugging it straight onto the battery, it comes with some alligator clips and controller. So it means you can plug it straight from that into into your battery, into your car battery, into your camping battery, however you want, and you can kind of avoid your DC-DC charger. The way we're doing it though, is because we've already got solar, I've already got it set up for this purpose. And as you can see up here, this is where my solar, I've just got an extra Anderson plug there, and then it runs down and goes into there. Uh, that red one. So I thought I might want to use both at some times, knowing the capacity of what the cables can take and all that kind of stuff, it's definitely important to research. So I thought if I have an Anderson plug here, I can put a double adapter on it, essentially an Anderson double adapter, keep those running and then use my uh, solar blanket. And this is in the shade, doesn't really matter. And it just uses that. So, um, but let's keep looking at this. All right, so that's your big cord. Let's me, let me unplug this quickly. So this is what it comes with, fused which is really handy. It's important to always have solar and anything you're running with 12 volt fused appropriately. So Velcro down the side, we'll just do this. So the panels are really nice actually. They're like, they're like a matte feel. And one, two, three, four, I think there's six. I oh, know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven panels, it's quite long. You can get kind of a feeling of how long it is there. It gets a lot of sun. Now it is standby. Now I'm a bit odd. I like to keep all my, um, uh, what are they called? Like manuals for all my like 12 volt stuff. Just because if we're ever not in internet range, I can't look it up on online. 12 volt solar panel kit, is this it? Yes. All right, what is it? 
12 volts, 12 volt solar panel kit. We're looking at 180 watts rated power. Battery clamps, it weighs 8.3 kilos, which not light, but not heavy. 15 amp fuse, which is good. Got your peak power, currents and everything here. Rated power, and it's a mono crystalline solar panel. So um, I don't know if that's good or bad, but it works well. Yeah, 180 watt is probably a big thing that people usually go off. Yeah, there's not much more information on here that would be useful to you. Thing. But yeah, yeah, keeping these, uh, so I keep them for like our fridge, all our 12 volt stuff, our DC DC charger, our jump starter, our solar panels on the top, anything that I need to just double check what certain lights mean or what certain um, like error messages mean. It's just handy to have a hard copy when you're yeah out of signal or out of, yeah, you don't have any, any or you haven't screenshotted it or saved it on your phone or whatever. That's what I do anyway. So under the passenger seat, I've got about 20 different booklets. Now, how am I gonna do this with one hand? Let's just have a look on the other side. So if I turn it over, the Velcro gets a bit dirty. So that's just one thing you gotta keep in mind because this, this thing, I guess, does live on the ground. So it's gonna get messy, it's gonna get a bit dirty, it's gonna get marked and it's gonna get grass on it. So, but as you can see, it's got these like little, I don't know what you'd call them, little loop things. Essentially what happens is that will run through it. Let's do it on this side. And then it'll, as you sit it up, it'll be a leg. And then in this little hole, in this little loop here, you can place a peg. I'll just put you down, set up the pole and everything. And that way we can kind of, you can see how it's happened. So it's just a tent pole, really. Just your standard tent pole. And then it runs through these holes. Sometimes I don't read the instructions and I kind of guess it. And then over time I kind of figure it out. But anyway, this will work as we go. I mean, the good thing is they're very durable. All right, there we go. Now I'll pop in my, the good thing with it, they've actually got enough space. You can probably put this in with that and it kind of holds it snug in there. Get the grass off, number two. It's one on each end, I guess. And then one in the middle. And if it doesn't fit, for some reason, force it. That's what she said. <laughs> nah, I don't, well. There we go. So it's nice, nice and snug in there. Now, if it's not the way to do it, read the instructions. So now it's got the the um, thing. You can pretty much just lift it up and take it wherever you need it. Now, as you can see, I'm in this parked in the shade. Okay. So as we come up here, like I showed you before, this is our solar panel plug. So if I pull that out, it's a bit awkward, but and then that's going into our DC DC. That's coming from our solar on our roof. So essentially, what we want is our DC DC to have a double adapter. Solar from our roof still connected in one, and then in the other one is our solar panel. So hopefully, it reaches just too short. Stand by. All right. So like I showed you before, in this pouch which is good because if it rains, you can probably just leave it out. I'm sure most of this stuff is waterproof, especially the Anderson plug. It does have a little bit extra length there, but I guess I'll just keep that tied up so we're not like pulling on it or anything like that. Uh, and then plug it in and Bob's your uncle. As you can see, it runs up here, double adapter, going to our DC-DC charger and our battery, and then still getting some more from there, from our main solar. On my phone, we've got, cause I've got the projector battery, it comes with a Bluetooth, which is really handy. So I can just pop it on here, have a look at it. Now we're at hundred percent, so it's not gonna be charging, but it does charge. All right, so as you can see, it's in the sun. We're parked in the shade. Uh, so this is essentially how you'd have it set up. Uh, just let me check if we're getting any power. I think because the battery is 100%, the DC-DC charge is saying, look, mate, you don't need any more power. So it's not a, a great test for you guys, but you can see it's putting in like a little bit plus 0.1 of an amp. So this is in the shade, so it must be coming from somewhere. I haven't driven for a while, so it's not coming from the main battery. So, you know, slowly topping it up, which is also a really good thing to have. Like if you're sitting around camp and you are 100% full, then it's just good to keep your battery up to that 100% mark. So yeah, this is pretty much how it works. Also, this is the one I made and, but you can also just buy that off eBay if you don't, not into making Anderson plugs and that kind of stuff. Same with the double adapter thing I've got. Just when you're buying them, make sure they're good quality, probably from Australia um, and the cable is, the proper gauge because that's really important to, to have when you're playing with 12 volt stuff so yeah that's pretty much it um, a bit of a higgledy piggledy video but i just wanted to show you guys it's not a hack by any means most people have them but it's also it's just something that we deliberated on for for a while and we wish we'd got it sooner just so we could really just stay in one spot we wouldn't have to move the tent around because also we've got the panels on the tent so like the tent has to face a certain way for it to get sun and if it's up that way oh, 
that other way, the sun's coming from this side, even if we're in the sun, it doesn't help. There's a lot of times that you can use one of these and it's really simple to set up. Um, and then it's really easy and small to pack away. So highly recommend it. And like they say in the solar panel game, if you've got some sun, you've got some... Bye.